Coming up on Raider Vision. We visit with the owners of the Mag Cycle, a long-standing family-run business in South Miami. And we dive into the 10th grade field trip. I'm Julie Paquette. And I'm Jordan Bankson. And, and this, this is Raider Vision. Welcome back from Thanksgiving break. We hope you enjoyed the week off. In celebration of Human Rights Day, the World Cinema Club is screaming Walter Salas' drama, Central do Brasil. The activity will be held on Friday, December 3rd at room 220, starting at 3.30 p.m. and finishing at around 6 p.m. All Gulliver students and teachers are welcome to come. On the Monday before break, students spent the day building Bikes for Toys for Tots, an organization benefiting underprivileged communities. Reporter Desmond Howard has a story. Here at Gulliver, giving back to the South Florida community is a principal priority. Students have always taken on critical projects and pride themselves with the work that they do, such as the Toys for Tots project, a few weeks ago where students built bikes to be given around the community. To start the day off, staff at Toys for Tots held games such as cornhole, ladder toss, and whatever this is, as students raced to collect coins to build their bikes. Students Nick Zambola and Diego Colazzo speak on the activities they enjoyed. Uh, my favorite part so far has probably been the ladder golf. It was really fun, I liked it. Uh, my favorite part has been the, the cornhole. It was really fun, I just liked the experience. After this, bikes were assembled and given to the Marines. We spoke to experiential educator Dale Robinson about Toys for Tots and the significance of their target audience. Oh, it's, it's a great program where Toys are basically given to underprivileged or underserved communities, and mostly specifically children who just really need just to know that they're, they're cared about and thought about. It's into those communities that need it the most. They actually seek out and find them and then and actually give it to them. So it's, it's a great program. Overall, building bikes proved to be tons of fun, whilst also giving back to our beautiful South Florida community. Raider Vision recently went out into the community and covered the story of Mac Cycle, a Gulliver family-owned store. The business is run by the mom and her two daughters. For Mary Jane Mark, tubes, tires, and cages have a whole different meaning. Running the company means so much more to her than just selling bikes. When I was in high school at Our Lady of Lourdes Academy, I worked here. So I worked here as uh, my whole life. Although it might look like a regular job at first glance, it has more sentimental value than you might think. My grandfather was living in Buffalo, New York, where it is absolutely freezing and miserable. And he was going to get a promotion at work. And he said, rather than stay here and work for someone else, I want to move. I want to take my family. He went to Miami. He said, I want to start a business. So he looked around. He saw the weather. He saw that it was nice, and it kind of just clicked in his head that he would sell bicycles. So he did, and it happened to be uh, really successful, and here we are today. Wanting to keep it all in the family, Mary Jane plans to pass the store down to her daughters, Rachel and Sandy Losada. They love it. They seem to like it. Um, I think it's a great business. I think it's a lot of fun. We meet lots of great people. We go to lots of great events, and I think we'll be here for a long time. Working with family is definitely a different experience than working with regular co-workers. I love working with my family. I think that it's, it's obviously very challenging. Um, mothers and daughters have their challenges, sisters have their challenges, but at the end of the day, we know that the decisions that we make are the best for each other, and there's never any doubt, and there's always 100% trust. Their familial bond is very strong, especially considering the fact that they were raised together at the store. We grew up here. I mean, my mom had us in a crib. Georgia, our cashier, was holding me. So when did I start? I mean, I've, when I was born. Because of the connections that Mary Jane has made at the store while she was raising her daughters, she believes that family isn't only blood. There's people here. Our cashier, Georgia, has been here since Rachel was a baby. Um, so she's almost part of the family. You know, we, we look at her as family. The support in this close family helped the girls reach many goals, especially in school. So when I was at Gulliver, I was a swimmer and a runner, and I did that because I saw so many people that I know start to do triathlon. And I said to myself, oh my gosh, I really like to ride my bike, and I'm a pretty good swimmer, and I, I can run. I don't do it, but I can run. I think I can do that. And it didn't take long for her to accomplish this task. 
and I did my first one, I was 15. Growing up with loving friends and family made in the store definitely shaped all of their lives. Signing off for Raider Vision, I'm Julie Piquette. Here's this week's Thanksgiving edition of Julia on Campus. Good morning, Gulliver. Welcome back to Julia on Campus Thanksgiving edition. How many, how many calories are, like, per person are consumed every Thanksgiving? Guess what? What? Hi. How many women were in the first Thanksgiving dinner? Zero. No. No. Yeah. Yes. No. 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 Didn't go well. Who was the first president to pardon a turkey? I don't know. Guess. I really don't know. I'll give you a hint. His first name is John? I don't know. You don't know? I don't. John. His first name is John. John? Who was the first president to pardon a turkey? To pardon a turkey? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean pardon a turkey? I don't even know what that means. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, ask if he does know. He's asking this one. You know? You know? No. Nixon. <laughs> Nixon. Nixon? No. I'll oh. get, it, his first name starts. No, his first name starts with a T. Tell me way. Oh, oh, Teddy Roosevelt. Ro uh, no. Terrell Owens. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Julia from Julia on Campus. Thanks, Julia. Now here's a David with the weather. Thanks, Jordan. Hopefully, you enjoyed the sunny and cooler weather we had over the break because you'll be seeing a lot more of it this week. Temperatures began creeping up today with the highs in the upper 70s and the lows back in the high 60s. We can expect mostly sunny skies with a 5% chance of rain changing to partly cloudy conditions and the rain chance increasing to 15% by Thursday. Winds remain northwesterly between 7 to 10 miles per hour all week. That's it for weather. Uh, Jonah with sports. Thanks, David. The Girls Varsity Soccer team suffered a tough 8-1 loss to American Heritage Plantation. The boys' varsity soccer team took down St. Thomas 3-2 with goals from Tomas Ciara, Mateo Acosta Rubio, and Herman Meza, as well as a strong defensive performance from Pablo Perez Bedmar and George Lombard. The boys' varsity soccer team bested Pinecrest 2-0 on Friday, November 19th, with goals from Mateo Acosta Rubio and Herman Cueva, as well as an outstanding performance from goalkeeper Tiago Abreu and outstanding defense from Pablo Perez Bedmar and George Lombard. The team will regroup and get ready to face Slam Charter School on Tuesday, November 30th. Congratulations to the girls' weightlifting team who won their first match, beating AEI 35-30. The varsity football team absolutely buried Booker T. Washington on Friday, November 19th, with a dominating score of 43-0. Quarterback Carson Haggard led the way with 302 passing yards and 3 TDs, while Cedric Garvin contributed with 70 rushing yards and 27 receiving yards, as well as 3 total TDs. The varsity football team had a hard-fought ending to their season last Friday when they were beaten down by Cardinal Gibbons 36-33. Congrats to the amazing coaches and players for an amazing 8-2 season. That's it for sports. Now back to the desk. That was nice work on a max cycle piece. Thank you, Jordan. Amelie Santini, B.B. Eisenberg, Desmond Howard, and I managed to take second place in the Student Television Network's National Fall Challenge. We'd like to thank Max Cycle for their participation. If you have a story or an event you'd like to see on Raider Vision, drop us an email at raidervision at gulliverprep.org. That's all for Raider Vision. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.